morning, second day in London and uh, we have come down for breakfast uh, to the restaurant and it's a big spread out here and today it's not very crowded, yesterday it was very crowded. I'm starting the breakfast with hash browns, mushroom, bread and butter. I will not have an omelette today and maybe fruits and fruit juices. So we have a long day ahead of us. So this is one slice of bread, hash brown, mushroom, kela, orange juice and this is Greek style yogurt. My husband having some eggs, sausages, pancake and so this is the restaurant like and today it's and we are late little. मतलब साढ़े दस तक है और दस बजे सवा दस आ गए सो ये सब लोग खा के चले गए This is a beautiful town with a town side and village located around the river Thames with a bridge going over it and very famous for kayaking, boating etc. People uh, travel on boats here from one place to another place and there were, I mean, it's, it was an amazing experience spending the early morning uh, there till afternoon. We carried picnic lunch a little bit of sandwiches and cold drinks and walked around for a couple of uh, miles We drove down to Reading Town for exchanging our old notes in the bank there because my husband had visited uh, London some 10 years back and we had old currency, English pounds. So we needed to exchange that. So we came to this town. Here it is, the Reading Town. Again, a very nice place. So after Henley on Thames, we went back to High Wycombe to pick up our friends and drove down to Salisbury to visit the iconic landmark monument, the Stonehenge. It's a prehistoric uh, megalithic structure, uh, standing stones, 13 feet high and 7 feet wide. And it is a legally protected monument. This place is around 92 miles from um, High Wycombe and it took us roughly one and a half hours to reach there and about this structure I mean we have already seen it in so many movies and all uh, nobody exactly knows the origin of this nevertheless it was a beautiful sight to behold 
as the sun was setting and we were watching the Stonehenge. Next day, we decided not to take the car because parking can sometimes be an issue in London city. So we took a train from High Wycombe to London Marleybone station. We got down there and hopped into a city hop on and off tour bus which goes through all the landmark points in the city. Our first stop was at Buckingham Palace. As you can see here, it was very, very crowded, like I said, because it is summer vacation all of Europe and UAE. The tourists were crowding everywhere and there was a long queue to get inside the palace, to visit the interior of the palace. And to be honest, I was not very curious about visiting inside the palace, you know. So and it was a very hot sunny day just about managed to look from outside and personally i feel buckingham palace definitely needs a fresh coat of paint guys after a couple of mandatory you know the touristy kind of photo clicks near the buckingham palace we hopped onto the bus and left for our next stop the famous hyde park of london got some delicious ice creams enjoyed the park the cool weather of the park because it was a hot day so sat down and enjoyed a couple of ice creams there so from hyde park we took a cab to go to london eye near the river thames to take a river boat to cross over to the london of london it's a 25 minute ride they have uber boats too The Tower of London is the most historical sites in the world and believe me it's a sight to behold. After all this we were really very very famished and decided to settle down for a late lunch because it was already 4.35 in the evening and a lot of food options there came down to this restaurant Pet Mango for uh, sandwich and a wrap and all that back to Piccadilly Circle to shop at Lily, Lily White which is a shop known for its sportswear and sporting equipment and sports mementos and gifts and souvenirs and all related to sports. I wanted to get some stuff for my son and my son-in-law so hopped in here it was a huge big store with a lot of things to choose from finally came out satisfied after shopping a lot and spending a lot of money in there and 
here in london like many other european countries you will see at most of the street center or corners uh buskers playing uh music they either sing or play some musical instrument like a guitar or a violin or something like that and it's nice to watch them and help out with a few you know money so the day was purposeful entertaining and beautifully spent